lot of stuff in front of me, guys. Blade Show Atlanta is here in about two days and it is really coming up fast. So what I went ahead and did is came up with a ton of different loadouts because I plan on bringing all this stuff to the renowned pit. For those of you guys that are coming to Blade Show, you guys might already see this stuff, but this video is gonna be for those people that can't make it out. You guys best bet I'm gonna have a lot of content out, but let's show you what I am bringing to the show. As many of you guys know, I'm a huge knife snob and EDC nerd, so I am bringing Bringing a ton of gear with me. I think it's like probably 10 to 20 pounds worth of stuff. But let's just drop right into it. I'm pretty much bringing every single variant of the Data Crew pouches. There's one actually stuck in here. We've got three different variants of the Data Crew pouches. We've got a Wada Slider, a Wada Slider Junior, and then the Small Fry. The reason why I want to bring all this stuff with me is because people are going to want to see this stuff if they haven't had the opportunity to already, I guess, like experience it. I'll go through all this stuff really quick. So in the Small Fry, I've got a Curator Flex in here, the Milnor, Mil Milnor, whatever you want to call it. We've got a Micarta or Black Micarta Beer Bomb from Notorious EDC, some Lip Balm, and then on the opposing side, I've got some Band-Aids and Business Cards. If you haven't seen the Small Fry video yet, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. After that, I've got the What a Slider. So this thing is pretty sweet because it's a little thick boy. In here, I've got an Everyday Minimalist Hank. We've got the Red Beer Bomb or Supreme Red Beer Bomb. The Titanium Pocket Pro Pen from Big Idea Design. We've got the Combat Beads Mark II Titanium Bit Driver. Vero Fulcrum Mini in Titanium as well as the Protec Runt 5. I guess this video can count as a June Pocket Dump video. So <laughs> lastly, we have the What A Slider Junior. So this thing is really cool. I haven't done a full review on this yet. I just really wanna put it through its paces. Blade Show Atlanta is gonna be where I can do that. And this will likely be my primary EDC pouch that goes into my sling bag, or I guess other EDC pouch, which is the 130SC. We'll talk about this in just a second. But opening up this bad boy, got an awesome Hank, Topo Hank. And then on the interior, I've got a bunch of stuff. So starting from, I guess, your left to right, we've got the Notorious EDC Kingpin in all titanium. Next to that is gonna be the Zirconium Mini Bolt Action from Big Idea Design. This flashlight is really cool. I haven't actually reviewed this either. It is the Aurora A26 from Rovi Vaughn. And just check this out. It's clear and has this really cool, I guess, retro aesthetic. So I just wanted to bring that along with. After that, I've got my Big Papa Titanium Beer Bomb the TMP tiebreaker titanium pry bar. Then there's also a refined CC1 titanium toothpick inside this. And the cool thing is this is actually gonna fit inside my sling bag, which is the 130 SE Dan Matsuda pouch. Basically, I took out all the paneling that is included with this thing, so that way I can just fit the Wada slider inside the 130 SE and have all my gear nice and tidy. I'm also gonna be throwing a couple Urban Minimalist knives in here. By the way, the Urban Minimalist should be available for pre-order right now as we speak. And I'll be sure to leave a link to the Urban Minimalist so that way you guys can get your hands on it. Doesn't cost you anything extra, just kind of helps out in terms of the affiliate commissions. And before we move into the massive knife case as well as my airport carrier, let's give a quick word for today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by the House of Blades, a premier knife dealer located in Fort Worth, Texas. I had the opportunity to visit House of Blades down at Blade Show, Texas, and man, do they have one of the coolest knife shops that I've ever been to. They pretty much stock every single knife brand that you can possibly imagine, anywhere from Benchmade, Spyderco, Chris Reeve Knives, Microtech, and a bunch of others. We also had the chance to check out their really cool laser engraving service. That laser room is just absolutely insane. If you guys want to do any customization to your blades or even how your Yeti water bottles. You can actually just send over your files and they will get that custom logo or whatever it is on whatever object you're laser engraving. If you guys are interested in getting a knife from House of Blades, make sure that you use code EDM for 10% off your entire order. Thank you so much to House of Blades for sponsoring our channel. Let's get back to the video. Okay, let's talk airport carry. This stuff is all TSA friendly. I just wanted to carry stuff with me through the terminal so that way I didn't feel super naked. And this is the Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus in this gray wax canvas. Very simplistic, nothing too crazy. And inside this bad boy, I've got a few things. My pen of choice for this loadout is gonna be the Tactile Turn Tie Bolt Action Mini. This thing is just amazing. Fits inside the Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus, no problem. Next to that is gonna be the 
big idea design at titanium EDC wrench. This thing is just really cool to have. I'm gonna have a lot of friends and buddies over at the show and especially the pit. So having this thing might be a really cool tool just to kind of show off. Next to that is gonna be my CWF Micro Click Arcadian. This thing has been featured in a bunch of different pocket dump videos. That is by far my most favorite flashlight of all time. Moving on to this side of the pouch, I've got a JRW Judge. So that way if we play any board games or anything like that, I can just take that thing out and spin it. In front of that is gonna be the Lottier Shuffle Urban EDC Collab Zirconium piece. And this is just a fidget. So if I get bored at the terminal, I can just kind of play with this thing. Ashley and Balin are probably gonna hate me if I use it, but I just wanted to bring that with. And of course, I've got a bit driver with me. I forgot what the name is on this. I got this at Urban EDC Supply as well. I know if you have a seven inch or shorter bit driver, it's actually able to go through TSA, no problem. We also have the Glow Rhino Pry Bar. So just in case I have to attach a camera plate while we're flying or whatever, I have a pry bar on me. That's everything inside the airport loadout. It's just super clean, super easy. Let's move on to the big thing that's gonna go inside my checked bag. <laughs> and we've got the Burrito Grande from NAS. This is gonna be my case of choice in terms of holding all the knives I'm bringing. This thing has some really nice clasps as well. It's made of this canvas material and it is heavy because it's storing, I believe like 14 knives or something crazy like that. Got a bunch of Ranger eyes with a loop field up top. And as we open it up, lots of knives. Up here, we've got the Urban Minimalist. Like I said, if you are coming to the show, make sure that you pocket check me because this is gonna be in my pockets literally the entire time. And again, this knife right here, my knife design, the Urban Minimalist will be available for pre-order. I'll leave a link in the description below. So we have all three variants. We've got the Titanium, the Black G10, as well as the Black Micarta. Next to that is gonna be my Pina Mula. So this thing is just really clean. I love the Mula. Uh, it just, it's coming with us, okay? Next to that is gonna be my brand new Wee Knives, Brian Brown Knives Trogon. This is just a really cool design. It's made of titanium. I haven't done a full review on this one just yet, so we'll just have to wait on that. But it's a cool knife and I wanted to bring it with as well. Next to that is my Batch 2 Winter Blade Co. Factor. Just had to bring it, of course. Moving on to this bottom section, Chris Reeve Knives Nkosi, because I love the Nkosi. Ashley's coming to her first blade show. She gifted me that, so I wanted to bring it with. This one is gonna be super special because it's launching at Blade Show. I've had to keep this super secret from everyone. This is the brand new Benchmade Narrows. This thing is incredibly thin. I'll probably do a full review on this knife pretty soon. Had it in my hands for a couple months now and I'm excited to tell you guys all about this thing. Next to that is gonna be a Luff Concepts Avant. My Sagaiha F5.5. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to buy this off of me. No, it's not for sale. That's one of my most favorite knives. Next to that is gonna be my Tactile Maverick. And um, yeah, just kind of wanted to bring that because it's a new knife for 2023. Moving down here, I don't want to take it all out. So I'm bringing three Notorious EDC Kingpins, pretty much all the variants. The Black Micarta Satin version is inside this leather pouch that I've got. We've got the Essenix Beer Buster Slip Joints Tactile Rockwall Seasonal Release. This is gonna be that green Overland version, I believe. Next to that is gonna be the Superlative Cannibal in All Titanium. This thing is dope. I had to bring a gravity knife, so we've got the Ria XO. If you guys want me to do a full length video on this, let me know because we definitely can. Got my Benchmade Bug Out Custom S90V, just premium everything with this one. And then finally, my Tai 85 Balasong from Benchmade. This thing is a pretty dope Balasong knife. And that is everything that's coming with me in the Burrito Grande. The reason why I'm using this instead of a ginormous Pulkin case is because I also have to carry around and lug around a lot of camera gear. So having something that is kind of soft and easy to lug around is gonna be something that I'm gonna really enjoy. Again, if you guys are interested in grabbing one of these, I will be leaving a link in the description below. Shout outs to Nafs and Ben, he's a good friend of mine. So that's a lot of loadouts in one video. I try to do that as fast as possible. There is one item that I wanted to show you guys before I let you go. This one's kind of weird. It's inside this right here. I can't even remember what the name of this is. If I do remember it, I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is a portable seat. So this thing literally folds up 
can hold up to 200 to 300 pounds and you just basically fold this thing out. And if you've ever been to Blade Show, you'll know that there are crazy long lines. Balin might actually end up using this because he likes to line up early for things, especially if he's trying to go for another curator or a Koenig Arius, that's what I'm personally going for. And this will also be nice to have at the pit because I don't even know how the seating arrangements will work. Just pulling this thing out, setting it up within like 15 seconds and having a seat available is just gonna really help out due to the fact that I'm gonna be walking around a blade show all day long. Having a seat hopefully comes in on clutch. Always be prepared, as they say, for everyday carry. But there you guys have it. I hope to see a bunch of you guys at Blade Show Atlanta. I am beyond excited to visit you guys, meet you. Find me at the pit or at the show. It's going to be an amazing time. If you guys are attending Blade Show, sound off in the comments. Let me know if you're going. And then let me know which one was your favorite loadout. I know it was really fast, but I really want to know what you guys think. Aside from that, thank you guys so much for dropping by. And we'll have to catch you on the next one. Peace out.